Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today I have a fun little unboxing for you. Now, a couple months ago I received a box from your creative studio. Basically they contacted me to say, hey, we do a vintage themed, vintage style um, stationary subscription, would you like to receive one to use? for your mail and I said sure. I made a video about unboxing it and it was pretty well received. Obviously there's mixed reactions to these kind of things because different people like different things but in general I got the idea that people really enjoyed seeing these videos. However I decided not to do another one right after because um, I am still a snail mail channel, not necessarily a stationary channel, so I wanted to kind of spread it out more, but it's now, I think, time to open another one. This one is, again, obviously um, vintage themed. It's not necessarily vintage items as far as I'm aware, it's just made to look vintage, but that's obviously a lot of fun for using in mail or journaling or stuff like that. I think her main audience is journalers, but obviously I will mainly use it for mail. So I wanted to point that out. If you haven't seen the previous unboxing yet, I will link it down below. It was also pretty fun and I've already used it for a vintage themed video as well. But let us get into the video. The only thing I do want to say is that yes, I did receive this package for free. Um, I didn't pay for it. I, I got it sent to use in videos or something but this video is not sponsored I don't get paid for making this other than receiving this package for free um, and there's like no if I use the items in a video it's because I want to and not because I was told to do so that is like very important for me I don't that's also the reason why I kind of spread these packages uh, apart on my channel a little bit is because I don't want to uh, seem overly commercial because I'm not but I haven't seen anything from this box yet so uh, this is as much a surprise for me as it is for you I really hope I'm not damaging any of the content oh look at that here we go this is like the layout we had last time different tissue paper which I like there's a big st sticker here that says your creative studio and this is new it says treasure map. Look for treasure underneath the tissue wrapping paper. Is this a sticker? Oh, that is new. And then, oh, this is cute. It says little gift. Dear Vivian, I'd like to take this moment to tell you how much I appreciate and how grateful I am for your help. I hope you would enjoy this gift. Take care and stay healthy. Yours sincerely, Amanda. That is really sweet. I actually, like, it's so silly, but I really like that this says Vivian because she could have just printed out a bunch of these, <laughs> copy-pasted, but it actually says my name. That's kind of special. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe this just came out, but it looks like it's on top, so because this says little gift, I'm assuming this is extra. Let me turn on the light in a little bit. Can you see that better? Maybe. Um, I'm assuming this is extra, so I don't <laughs> exactly know, but we will see. Maybe one of you has received this box and can tell us if the content is the same. So let me go straight into opening this brush. Ooh, it's like a little charm. Like the, the writing on it is very random. It says my, you, you. <laughs> so that's very random, but it's quite cute for like on a journal or a notebook or something. I'll show you up close real quick. That is cute. And I, I'm definitely going to reuse these little gift baggies. And then there's an, a washi tape, a tiny washi tape, black and white. Oh, that is actually perfect. Okay, so from what I can tell, it's like November, December, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, it's like days of the week in short and then also the months. So Jan, Fab, Mar. April, May, June, so like a shortened, uh, shortened months and days of the week. That is actually perfect because I've been looking at a new planner, thinking of getting a happy planner and 
uh, I need to cover up the days of the week because in America for some reason the week starts on a Sunday and my week always starts on a Monday so I'm thinking of actually covering <laughs> that up <laughs> so I could use that these um, little washi tapes for that that is kind of nice okay um how am I gonna do this how am I gonna do this I'm just gonna take no I'm just gonna open it put it on my lap and I'll take everything out one by one I'm always overwhelmed when there's like so many things in the box okay oh that is nice okay this immediately makes me very happy it's a sticker sheet from your creative studio and that is what I liked most last time because a lot of the items in there can be bought at stores I'm guessing but I'm making a video okay sorry got interrupted there but a lot of the items in the previous box were like store bought which totally makes sense for doing a uh, stationary subscription service but what I like most is when there's original items in there so these are actually original stickers your creative studio stickers and that makes it a little bit more special for me at least so these are all i think there was a theme I, if i remember correctly the theme from this month was like writing right i have to check she sent me a message explaining the theme i kind of forgot but if it's writing i'm very very happy because hello snail mail but it's like a little um quill like feathers how would you call that like real is it a quill? I think so, right? Harry Potter. Um, like a quill and little ink jars and little um, scrolls of parchment and wash, uh, wax, seal stick, wax seal stamp stickers. That is actually really, really cute. Show you a close. Okay. Showing you everything up close is annoying. I've been looking into getting a new camera, but duh, that's expensive so that I can, I cannot actually see what I'm filming, but I want to get one of those where you can flip the screen, if that makes sense. A little bit of side note there. Okay, the next thing I grab is a sticky note set, a uh, page of old paper. A page of old paper. It's like a, uh, burned paper and again i already said this in the previous um previous video but for some reason i like things less when they're wrapped in plastic that just feels super wasteful but i guess it makes sense um for them to ship it that way but this is a simple sticky note sticky note set how would you call this a simple stack of sticky notes a page of old paper yeah basically pretty self-explanatory if you ask me it's not necessarily my style but it definitely matches the vintage theme next thing i grab oh i'm gonna grab this one first sealing wax stickers i think now this is definitely something i've seen on aliexpress which is not necessarily a bad thing, that's just something I'd like to point out. So we have all of these stickers from Wax Seals. I am pretty sure that I'm going to gift these to other people because I, of course, make real Wax Seals. But if you don't have the ability to make Wax Seals, like if you can't, if you don't want to buy like the spoon and everything, this is definitely a good, <laughs> a fun little alternative. So we've got all of these. Okay, there are definitely a lot of different ones. Mm, trying to match them together. Okay, I don't know where that one came from. Well, it's definitely a lot of different designs. A lot of different designs. Okay, 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 okay. This could definitely be cute for when you want to decorate. That's also the problem because we are no longer officially no longer allowed to send anything other than paper in the mail anymore. So a wax seal is like kind of kind of like jinxing it like we're not supposed to send it anymore but obviously i'm still sending it but if you are not allowed to send anything other than paper such as wax seals you can use stickers do have to admit these are not really my style but yeah i mean for a stationary subscription service i think it's definitely fun also do let me know in the comments down below what you 
like what you don't like what is your favorite item would you have liked to receive this box or not i'm pretty sure you can just subscribe through the website which i will obviously link down below so you can check that out but i have to admit i'm a little bit biased already because um <laughs> vintage goodies are not my go-to style i like making vintage themed meal because i know a lot of people enjoy watching that but it's not something i would naturally pick and that's okay because i like going out of my comfort zone that way but that is why i'm a little bit biased already next one is another um plastic wrapped uh sticky uh, note set these are like a little bit, I don't know, a little bit brownish with a little, is it a guitar? Is it a ukulele? I think it's a little guitar in the corner. These could definitely be fun for using as address labels as well as goodies. Not a whole lot I can say about it, but yeah, definitely fun. And I have to remember, I have to keep in mind that this, I think, is mainly um, geared towards journalers so if you want to write a cute little journal note then yeah i definitely get why you would like something like that okay what else oh there's so much still in this box we've got this which is a masking tape okay open this little box i love washi tapes masking tapes i'm obsessed with them oh this is similar to the one we received last time last time we also received I would describe this as um, like the edge I have. This is from the last time I tested a washi tape on my table. Completely took all of the paint off. But it reminds me of uh, like a burned page edges or something. We got that last time but then with grapevines. And this is actually some sort of a plain one. Quite like that. I have to say I like this one better than the grapevine one. It's really simple but I prefer simple washies over really busy ones so we've got that hope you can see that all right i'll leave it there for a second and then what else am i gonna grab i wanna i <laughs> i wanna grab them one by one but then i sort of uh, want to look at everything at the same time okay i'm just gonna grab this one first all time series to do list notebook three sheets a lot of little lists in here is actually perfect i actually okay i'm not complaining i actually collect these little square border look you can just tear this off okay i don't want to rip it like this has like a little perforated edge it says to-do list but i use these for again address labels i'm not kidding i actually collect these i have a lot of different varieties and they're super super pretty for using as um, either a page introduction or a little um, a little question list or a little note as well as obviously address labels look this actually makes me really happy because I have these with the perforated line I have these with the perforated line and these all like square uh, yeah just little note pages but they're not sticky which is what i prefer because usually when you have like a sticky note they're not sticky enough for an address label so i'll just glue them on myself i hope you like all of my little little ramblings about the items i received that's just my mind immediately goes to what i can do with them <laughs> and my current stash so so far this is actually my favorite item in the box but we're not done yet, no. I've been looking at this the whole time. I think I'm just gonna show you because I'm too excited. This is the next item. It's a uh, clear stamp set and it's in a pouch. I wonder how I open the pouch. Oh, oh, okay, I actually quite like that. I'm just gonna probably reuse the pouch for something else, for like planner stickers or something. That is actually really, really cute. And it's a, is it the same style? No, it's just a similar style. It's a similar style. I don't think she designed this herself, but still very, very cool. Similar style, we've got the quill, we've got the roll of parchment, we've got a, how do you call this? I forgot what it's called. I forgot what this is called. 
the little time measuring thing with the sand in it. I'm sorry, we've got wax seal here, another roll of parchment. This is actually really pretty. I'm obsessed with clear stamps and this is definitely going to be some uh, a set that I'm going to use often. Mm. The stamps are quite big, I have to say, but I actually like that because if you would make this design smaller, it would probably be a lot harder to see what it is. So I quite like that. And then we're already down to one of the last items. Oh, this is a... Oh, I thought it was stickers, but it says... Wait, let me just open it. I think this is actually a stamp. <gasps> okay, I, I hate these little boxes. I can never open them in a the normal way. Come on. Yeah, it's a wooden stamp. Oh my God, that is perfect. And it says to and from. It's like a little, like you could use this to actually really, really, really tinily scribble down to and from, but probably this will just be cute on like a collage or when you make vintage tickets. Ooh, that's another favorite. I'm gonna take this off my table before I, before it attaches itself to the paint and we have another accident like that. <laughs> oh, that is actually cute. I love wooden stamps, makes me happy. I'm just gonna eat my pastry now. Okay, we are back. Um, oh, there is actually a double layer. Oh my god, is that the gift? Is that the treasure? Should I show you this now or wait? Oh my god, there's actually something underneath. I didn't realize. It, obviously it says, look for treasure underneath the tissue wrapping paper. But I thought she meant in. But it's actually, actually underneath. Oh my god, that is actually really, really cool. Okay, I'll show you last. First, we have the pieces of paper. Oh my god, <laughs> that's actually really cool. Uh, we have pieces of paper, I'll just lay them out for you. Oh, this is good. That is good. Sorry for the mess. Oh, this is actually my favorite. The one with like the, what is it, grades? They're quite dark, but I can definitely see how you could incorporate everything you've received with these pretty pages to make a nice journal spread, if you like. But I'm gonna make it into mail, duh. Oh, I actually quite like these. They're so far from my usual style, which I normally see as a negative, but I, I've actually, I'm actually learning to see it as a positive because when you go out of your comfort zone, you learn. And then there's a, the treasure. And again, I don't know if this is the normal box, if everyone receives this, or if this is like the treasure that I somehow like won, or if this is the gift. I don't know, but it's very, very cool. First of all, beautiful parchment paper. Definitely going to reuse that. And a quill, a dip pen. How do you call this? Oh, it's tied to the box. That is some strong tape. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that is so cool. I think this is a dip pen. At least I'm pretty sure you cannot like put ink in this. You have to dip it. That is actually so cool. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter now. It's a feather. I'm like pretty sure this is an actual feather. I mean, I've, I've, I've stroked a fair share of feathers and this is definitely like 99% sure this is a real one. And then it has a beautiful, I have no clue how to call this, like an engraved pen handle. Let me show you. That is actually really pretty. From a uh, practical standpoint, I immediately wonder like how many people actually have ink but i happen to have a lot of ink so i'm actually pretty happy and even if you don't have the dip ink you can just um display this let me grab them and i'll be back soon okay so i just quickly grabbed my normal fountain pen inks maybe one of you can tell me if i'm supposed to use that or something else because i also have this is a box that i have from my first year in high school my mom found it in a box the other day. I haven't used it yet, but this is called Indian ink. 
uh, it's uh, fine black ink, not for tattoos, and it's waterproof, so that's a little bit scary. But when I was in high school, we had I had art class in the first year, and I think I'm also supposed to have a dip pen. Uh, yeah, there it is. Is it one or is it multiple? No, it's one. So we used to have a dip pen, which I took very bad care of. I see now, it's completely stained. So this, I think that this is what you would normally use, although I'm pretty sure you could use either. So I'm just gonna test that out. I opened all of the drawers <coughs> in my uh, in my room. Oh, should I get a notebook? Should I get a piece of paper? I do. Okay, the battery died on us. This is actually 13 years old, so I don't know. Oh, it looks like ink. <laughs> I don't know if I can still use it. Maybe I should try the old ink on the old dip pen first. This is just regular black ink. Ah, it seems to be working fine, although I definitely have too much. Hello. Okay, so let us grab the new ink. The new fountain pen. Oh, that is actually really smooth. I try not to grab too much. Because with the other one, I definitely grab too much. Hello. Yeah, the ink is definitely faded a little bit. But this one, this is one of those scratchy ones. You can even hear it. Like, hello. And this one is definitely a lot smoother. I'm just afraid of dipping it too far into the ink. How far am I supposed to dip one? I don't even know. Hey, I'm really bad at hand, pretty hand writing. Hey there. My, is it one word or is it all individual? My box from, oh look, you're creative. Okay, I'm definitely nailing it now because I, studio, because I dipped it into the ink once and I wrote all of this. I'm getting the hang of it. Is it called a dip pen? I don't know, dip. Pen. Quill. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. Okay. Oh, I'm, I actually, I was actually afraid of, of like, how would you say that, like making, accidentally splattering the ink everywhere, but it's definitely not doing that. Should I write my name? Make a flower. I'm having way too much fun doing this. I really, if this is a gift in all of the boxes, I think that is the coolest gift so far. Unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Okay, I'm running out of ink. Comment. I want to dip it again. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Subs subscribe. I shouldn't talk and write subscribe. If you haven't already, new videos every Tuesday and Friday. As I said, I don't usually do a lot of video unboxings or unboxing videos. Um, I mainly make videos of my own or I open you guys' meal on camera. Both of them are very fun. I'm just going to clean my pen. Look at all of the pretty goodies I have received. Massive thank you to Amanda from Your Creative Studio. What a fun box once again. Favorite items in this box for sure. Number one is the, front, the dip pen. But again, I don't know if that's in every box or if that was like a random gift. But next to that, favorite items are the stamps. The stamps. Oh, I cannot choose the stamps. Let's say stamps, washi type, and the square note pages. That's a lot of favorites. If I had to choose one favorite, it's the square note pages apart from the fountain pen, but we're not going to measure that. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Blah, blah, blah. See you soon. Bye.